In this video, I'm going to show you how to use one of the new features of Squareline Studio 1.4, the object naming option, most effectively. This will help you give simple names to widgets with an automated prefix function, making the hierarchy panel much more transparent and manageable for renaming widgets. Let's get started! You can find the settings related to naming in the project settings window, which you can open from the file menu. In the properties group, you'll find the object naming drop-down menu. In previous versions, there were two options. One was name, where widgets were given a name corresponding to the widget type upon creation. The other option was screen name, where the widget received both the screen name and the widget name upon creation. The new options in version 1.4 are prefix options. This means that it will dynamically name the widgets with prefixes before the name we provide. For example, if we want a widget to include the screen name as well, we don't have to manually provide it, we can add it as a prefix. You can choose from several naming forms in the drop-down list. This way, we can use much shorter names in the hierarchy panel, and we can also give the same names in different screens. If we change the screen name, we don't have to rename every widget. If we load an earlier project, this option can also be set retroactively. In the PO's example project, I set the screen widget name option. If I select a widget in the hierarchy, you can see under the inspector name how the final name will look. So first the screen name, then the name of the widget type, and finally the name I specified. To make the parts easier to distinguish, they are separated by a space hyphen space character. When exporting, this will be exported as an underscore character. This format also helps a lot in the drop-down menu to select the appropriate widget. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to be notified about our latest videos on time.